Hello guys, my name is Charles Stanley from TS Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit any document on Corel Draw. Alright, the purpose of this tutorial is not for anything illegal. I had a client who actually needed something edited for him and since I'm not close I need to teach him how to do that, okay? So anyone watching this video should make sure you use this video for a good purpose. And now let's start off the video. I already have my corridor opened up. I'm currently using Corel S7. So next let's just go ahead and open this document on Corel Draw. Alright, this is the document that I want to edit. It's called business marketing stuff stuff stuff. So um all we need to do in working with this um application let's go ahead and minimize the application now this is application this is the corridor that is already open to us if you don't know how to open corridor just go ahead and press ctrl n to open a new document and then click um okay and create your document to start or you can rename it to whatever you want but since i already did that you guys should watch for the next tutorial on how to do that or the previous tutorial on how to open um, a new document in Corel Draw. So you can go ahead and title this to anything you want. You can say docs or whatever you want. Once you're done, just go ahead and click on OK and it's going to open up like this. But mine I titled it on title because I don't want to save it yet. Now let's go ahead and click on the document which you want. You can right go ahead and right click to preview to confirm if this is actually the document which you want. Yes, it is. So all we need to do is just to drag it in our uh, in our work area right on the corridor draw and you can notice some white um some gray line here some gray rectangle here that gray rectangle actually represents your work area so all you need to do is just to make sure you place your document here and actually my system is taking some time to load that is because um, my uh, hard disk is not that big enough and my ram is too low so you should expect this but you might not get this in your own system that's probably because um it's okay okay right now i just did this to um, enlarge the file just go ahead and click on it just below you need to drag it but you can hold shift and drag to make sure you have a perfect perspective of what you are looking for once you just go ahead and click on p it's going to centralize your document now let's go ahead and change this particular date to the date we want to use on this document so it's actually dated um um, 27 November 2017 so let's go ahead and change this date in order for us to change this date let's just go ahead and draw a rectangle now go ahead and select a rectangle change this particular date you can see the format and everything all you need to do is also um, draw a rectangle um, above it scroll over drag it make sure it's covering it and next thing you do is just to use this um, eyedropper to select a color around it because it's not going to be exactly the same color it has before Probably because the reason why this one is white is just because um, it's still new and it's can earlier. If it's an old document, it's going to have a greyish color, so you should make sure you use this red eyedropper to pick your color. Just pick a color on the stage and then make sure it's already selected. While the document is selected, go ahead and right click on this right box here and it's going to deselect. And you can see that our data our dating is gone. Now let's go ahead and add a different date, which is going to be. Um, today's date is 27, 27 April 2018. Okay, now we have our date written down, and I think they are making use of a different font. So, depending on um, how good you are in figuring out font, I think the font they are making use of is New Times or Times New Room. So, you can just type Times, you will get um up here this is the current um fonts we're making use of I just go ahead and click on bold because it's actually on bold and now go ahead and reduce the font because um it has a smaller font let's go ahead and use 14 i think 14 is okay and now let's drag it all the way to this side in order for us to confirm if we've got let me go ahead and disable okay i think the bold is actually okay. In order for us to confirm if we are actually getting it right, just go ahead and click on our side and make sure you have um, this area selected. Just move it up twice. 
and compared with the previous one, I don't think we get the right, the accurate um, sound. So let's go ahead and reduce it more, even more. I think this one is okay. These are the sounds the images of although the only very old and greyish. So now let's go ahead and drag it down, back down, and try to move this one a little bit to the front. Uh, I think we've actually got any. So if there is anything else you want to change in this um, particular document, you can go ahead and change that. You can also notice that we have um, our date that says um, um, 2009. Let's go ahead and change that also. And everything in this document, you can actually change that the same way I did. So there is no difference in doing this. I already have 2018 so I don't need to be typing that separately. Let me just go ahead and Okay. Next. And the next thing we have to do is just increase the font. Mm. Although you might notice it's a bit different um, in this document because I think the recent one I'm typing is more um, bold than the previous one. That's, re that's just because we haven't converted it to a. Um, we haven't converted the curve yet. So let's go ahead and click and then right click. And then say convert to curves. Actually selected it on that. Okay, actually selected it right now. So now let's go ahead and click on this to and convert to curve. Actually, it has a, um, a shortcut of saying control Q to convert to curve. But let me undo this change and then unbold the plan. Okay, uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and leave it to the previous one. I think it's actually accurate. So just convert to curve and to give you a better feel on the work you're doing. I think this this looks better as this. So if, if you actually want to get this more accurate, just go ahead and use your um use your eyedropper tool again. It's called eyedropper tool by the way. So use it to select the color and then go ahead and select this one. Okay actually it's still in the same color. And then uh, let's go ahead and add an outline. Let's give it an outline of greyish I think uh, a bridge is not bad. So let's go ahead and convert to curve and see how this looks. Not too bad anyway. So let's say we've actually gotten our uh, work looking better than it was earlier. So uh, I think we just, we've got it so far and I believe you'll be able to edit any document on your own. So once you're done with this, all you need to do is just go ahead and highlight that particular document. Go ahead and control G to group the document together and that way you will be able to drag and see that the document are already together and since they are together all you need to do now is to export your document to be uh, a JPEG format all you need to do is just to press ctrl E on your keyboard or you can just come right here and click on export or you could actually select this other one but either way it's still the same thing you can notice right here it's showing ctrl E so go ahead and select that once you've done that wait for it to load Go ahead and select the different locations to save your document. I think I have it on this here. I will just say new edit. Go ahead and export. And wait for it to load. The next area is going to show you where you have to enter um, some other details like putting in the pixel and trying to confirm the size which you want to make it up. So let's wait for a bit. It doesn't take time like this anyway. It only taking time like this just because I'm making use of a uh, a slow version of my system to create this video. Alright now we already have this set on CIM view but you can go ahead and select RGB that's if you're making use of a more detailed graphic but since we are making it a test here let's just go ahead and select this as default and then in this area which is actually also very important you can go ahead and select the highest that's if you want it to the highest but since this is a document we are actually trying to mimic you should just go ahead and select the medium it will automatically save in 50 for you so that way the test which we just made changes to it's going to appear very well for us and it's going to give us a perfect um a perfect correction of our work and I believe me or not I know one is going to edit this and dictate this easily so go ahead and click on OK once you're done 
and it's going to be exported. So now go back to this area. You can see that our new edit is already there. Right click, preview, and see if we've actually got it right. Now you can notice our age is, uh, date is correct and accurate corresponding to today's date. And I think that's all for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot. Make sure you like and subscribe to my video. My name is Charles Stanley from TSD.